Hello, welcome everybody to this video. I just want to show you how to integrate drawing screen into your iPad. Drawing screen package is about $50, so you can get it right now for this amount of money. And it's really uh, worthy and got a lot of features, including responsive UI, scrollable grid, and many other features. It works on Mac and PC and iOS and Android. For the iOS, we got some integration steps that you have to follow in this video. Uh, first thing you need to download it, open in Unity and click on launch application. But before this, make sure you have created new and new uh, Unity project. So go to file and new project and here just gonna name it something else. iOS, um, iOS Unity. Let me name it something good. Unity draw create the project and just open this link with unity and click um, launch the application on if you are using Google Chrome um, after you create the project just gonna ask you to run on unity and to import all these assets into your current project but you need to connect to the Apple Store oh, I'm sorry to the unity as store in order to download this package. So I'm just going to click import and log in if they ask you to log in but I am already logged in. So you need to click import in order to import this package. It's about 4 megabyte into your current project. And I'm just going to select all these packages and click import. Alright, this is, sounds good. Uh, basically, the integration is very simple. We're just going to give you um, a zip file that you're going to copy it into your project. Uh, here we are running Unity 5. So if, if you're running Unity 4, you're not going to see this match. But because we are running Unity 5, we got some ABI upgrade. So we need to update the current project settings in order to work with this project. So I'm just going to uh, click the blue button and just continue with the next step. All right, after this step, you can close this window and go to the app. If you open any of these folders, uh, like script folders, let me just find it. Or let me just open the assets folder, reveal and finder. You're going to see here we got the project files. If you go assets, go app, we're going to see all the files related to this project. So what I'm going to do right now, just going to replace these files with a the file that we're gonna give you in this um, demonstration. For the integration, we're just gonna give you a file called scripts. So the script folder or script file, or zip file, you're just gonna need to extract it and go to it, copy all the files inside it, and just paste them over these files. So when you replace them, I'm just gonna ask you, do you wanna replace these files? Click replace. So we replace all these files you can see here. The screenshot bridge has been added and we got some modification other files. Uh, but these are the new thing for related to the iOS integration. We need to add them and the other files need to be replaced. All right, that sounds great. Uh, after this, we are combining the script. We go Unity and make sure we don't have any um, errors. Here we got a, we got a, this, um, you need to clear this, try run the project. So if I go app and to, let's select the scene. Let's take, select the startup scene, click play. You can see we got a compile error. Um, this is pretty much happened because, um, because of the build settings. So sometimes you got this error you, if you knew, if you want to remove it, you go build settings and you choose iOS because we work in the, for iOS here. I'm just gonna build it and select the name for this project. So it's gonna be iOS Draw on Screen, and just name this project as the Xcode project. So this is the Xcode project name. I need to build it and click save. Alright, so when you click save, um, 
we're gonna try to export this project. This project gonna be built and compiled into Xcode project. So we should got rid of this error. So if you still got this error, you're not gonna be able to compile the project. So here because you can see we are building the assets, the additional asset, the, the building is continuously progressing. That means we don't have any problem with the compilation and we can run this project onto Xcode later on. But make sure you're gonna see a notification dialog on the right corner here when you got the compilation and the build succeed for the Xcode. So this is something to be considered, guys. All right, here, the build was successful and that is really great. So if you go back to Unity, you can see we don't have any error. And that is the reason that we talked about. So if you go iOS uh, during screen, this is the Xcode project. Pretty much I'm just gonna run this new project here. Just double click on it. We need to add some configuration to this Xcode project in order to run it onto our iPad or iPhone. So pretty much you need to um, add something called the Assets Library. Uh, assets Library Framework. It's from the Build Faces Link Binary Libraries. You need to go scroll down a little bit to the plus icon here. Click on it. You need to find something called Assets Library Framework. So you need to add this in order to integrate our drawing screen package with uh, your iPhone or iPad application. Next, you need to go compile sources. We need to add something here for the compilation tags related to a screen shot um, dot mm file here. So, so you go to this line. I'm sorry, not this line. This line and add the following script. You add minus FNO minus OB, OBJ C minus ARC. You need to add this tag, compilation tag, in order to run this application smoothly on our iPad. After this, you can just run the application. It's gonna be build, uh, built into uh, our iPad just is going to compile and just link all the files together and export the executable iPhone iOS application. So this is for the integration guys. I'm um, just going to wait a little bit. Just going to take uh, about 20 seconds in order to finish the compilation. All right, so it's linking. The final step is linking, and uh, hope everything gonna be okay. So right now, make sure your iPhone and iPad is connected. Make sure that bill is good. Okay, build succeed. This is awesome, guys. So. Right now, um, we just gonna run this demo on, on our iPad. All right, guys, so this is the iPad. So you can see here, we got a scroller, everything's good. You can choose um, the gallery in here. You can pick up your color and try to just draw something on the screen. And here, you got the menu. You click on the screenshot and we took a screenshot to the application to the to the screen so because we took a screenshot I can go to let me just move here to photo gallery go all photos and here it's gonna go collection Scroll to the find the albums. Here you're gonna see the albums, and here 
just gonna see here we got two albums the first one and the second one and the second one is just empty because we click for the first time in the album when you click in the screenshot you're just gonna create the album the second time you click on the album you're just gonna save the screenshot to the album so this is something to be considered so I go back to the application try to move on to to another scene for let me just take green color okay and just gonna take a screenshot I took the screenshot right now if I go back to um, the album yep go back to album and if I click on it you're gonna see here we got a screenshot so this is pretty much guys about how to take screenshots into into the iPhone um, I hope you like it guys um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel stereo 07 and see you in other videos thank you